Thank you, Ether. I don't think I've ever had such a beautiful day. Hmm. Tell you the truth, neither have I. Have you traveled much, Ether? I went on a mission for my church. Right, your church. Where'd you go? Ghana. Oh. That's in Africa. I know where Ghana is. But did you see the savanna savan and the tall grass? Did the sun beat down on you and make you feel alive? Yeah, it did. I served in a lot of the villages. Not much in the cities, but I wouldn't have had it any other way. I got really sick a couple of times, but I wouldn't let them send me home. And I always got better, just like I told them. I wonder what it's like to be sick. I suppose it's a new kind of adventure. It's not very pleasant. <laughs> Wait, you've never, never been sick? And neither will you anymore. I suppose not. Weird thought. Morgan's spell kept away most diseases. My family would just grow to a ripe old age and just pass away, petering out like the wind. Growing old with wrinkles and white hair. Something I'll never experience, I guess. Don't think about that. Oh, let's travel. Uh, someday, perhaps. No, 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 not someday. Tomorrow, or next week. I've got plenty of money, so we'll be fine. And we can go to Australia and Mexico and Greece and Italy. And oh, we can go to Africa where you served your mission. I can't. And... Of course you can. Neither can you. Of course I can. No one can Th tell me that I can't. There's more that needs to happen here first. There's, there's still something that needs to happen. I don't care. I dreamed it. I don't care. You don't decide my fate. Well, I know I don't, but some decision you make, some path you take, leads you to... Leads me to what? I don't know. There's a lot of stuff happens I don't really what understand. What happens? I think you die. I died and you didn't... You didn't tell me? I don't think I understand all of it. I could have misinterpreted it. I don't want it. to talk about this. Then I won't say anything more about it. I think we're done for today, Ether. Maggie... That kite... <coughs> we're going to fly that kite tomorrow. Okay. You were going to ignore that dream. Maggie... No, Ether. It was just a dream or you misinterpreted it. You do just have some dreams sometimes, don't you? Yes. Then that's what it was. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow then. Wait. What now? You're a very special person to me, Maggie. I, I wish I could spend forever with you. Look, I'm sorry for what Daniel did to you. Believe me, how sorry I am. But just because you're mourning your mortality doesn't mean I'm anxious to meet mine. Do you understand? Of course. Good. God will get us through this. I didn't believe that once before, you know. Have your feelings changed? Well, I've been delivered, haven't I? Through some pretty remarkable circumstances. It's a miracle that I received that my ancestors didn't for some reason. But it feels like there's a reason. Maybe you can work some of your missionary magic on me after all. Mm. Flirt to convert, eh? <laughs> 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 all right, I make no promises, but you might just get lucky. <laughs> <coughs> you feel it then? I've been feeling all sorts of things lately. Just give me some time to sort them out. All right. Good night. Good night. Come out, Frenzy. You can't hide from me. How long did you know? You've been following us at a distance ever since we went outside. I've only had to deal with a veil ripper once before. He gave me a dickens of a time. You're a rare breed, you know? I think you'll find me a rare breed in all respects. Indeed. No wonder the masters have had their eye on you. So how is this to go on, Frenzy? Is this some sort of cat and mouse game we're playing at? Am I always to be on guard and you always ready to pounce whenever we're near each other? Honestly, I don't know. My orders were always rather vague. And how did those orders go, or was that privileged information? Oh no, they were simple. Keep an eye on you, and keep you alive. Right. You mentioned keeping me alive, so... If the devils want me alive, what does that mean about my life? Again, vague orders. I don't know what their plans are for you. Is... Is that why Ether dreamed me to be dead? Am I standing in God's way? <laughs> if there's something I've realized, is that the enemy is petty. Talk so much about love, but cross his will, and you'll have a target on your head. 
So says the devil. Oh, a devil. And a rather reluctant one at that. What makes you say that? Isn't it true? No. I've proved my commitment. I'm a rising star in our <laughs> kingdom. No, all devils are falling stars. And perhaps it extends to humanity and devils alike. But I don't want to be like that, Frenzy. For the first time in my life, I feel filled with light. Well, I'm glad I've been given charge of someone with a little philosophy in her fiber, at least. Makes my time so much more bearable. So you're my protector, then? Ironic. <laughs> Am I bound to join your side? Am I evil then? Oh, what is evil? We certainly don't feel like we're evil. We feel justified, just like the enemy does. We're fighting the good fight, even if we are bound to lose. You think you're going to lose? Well, it depends on who you ask. Some call the prophecies the enemy's propaganda. But as far as I can see, they've been pretty accurate thus far. Well, I hope you're good at your job then, because as reluctant as I am to have you around, I want to live. Then I will do my best. I give you my honor. <gasps> honor. Frenzy. Yeah. Do you ever want to switch sides? It's a bit late for me. But if you could, I, I mean, that's that's treacherous talk. It's not worth entertaining. There's something I've always despised about how the religious have treated women in the past. But there's something that's drawing me to Ether and his kind. Even Arthur I'm warming up to. My job is to keep you alive, not to influence your decisions. So I don't have much of a choice in your presence then, do I? I'm here whether you want me or not. Oh, then I am very tired and it's time for bed. Then I'll watch over you and be here in the morning. Oh, wait! Stop! Cast a Ejirastar! I said, wait. Oh, let me go, Merlin. Daniel, my name is Daniel. Thou shouldst never hold a lady uh, or gentlewoman against no, her will. Look, 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 in case you've not noticed, I'm not one of your husband's archaic knights, all right? Yes, you always did hold yourself apart from the standards of society. Rightly so, right? So please, Guinevere, don't patronize me. Don't test me. Don't expect me to bow down to your feminine whims and wiles, right? I'm not interested in protecting whatever shreds of supposed honor you think you've still got after your tempestuous How existence. How dare you? Right, I don't care about codes of conduct. I don't care about chivalry, that whole lot. All I care about is smashing through all these mysteries, illusions, and riddles. You all want to talk, you hypocrite. You are the greatest mystery of Camelot. And I don't know the person that you and Morgan and Arthur keep referring to. I want to find out who Merlin is just as badly as you do. But I'm going to sort out first things first. How are you still alive? I could ask you the same question. I would not be able to answer you. But I don't think you've got my complicated memory problems. No. Unfortunately, my long life has been branded upon my heart. I, mean, I wish I could say the same, but you still have not answered my question. I'll answer any question you put to me. Just let me go. Take la show. Thank you. Hey, wait, legend says you forsook Lancelot, even after the death of Arthur, that you died praying to God in some nunnery for a remission of your sins. Aye. All of that happened, minus the dying part. But Lancelot had to believe that I died, or else he would have kept coming back to me, kept tempting me. So I allowed him and the rest of the world to believe that I had died of a broken heart. In one sense, it was true enough. But how did you escape death? You really don't remember. Why should I remember? Merlin, you made me immortal. I made... You had me drink from the Grail. It was said that the Grail was brought to heaven after it was found by Galahad. But that wasn't the entire truth, was it? You had it. You gave the Grail to me to give to Arthur. Arthur was dead. Mordred, his own son, had killed him in that terrible last battle. But then you sent me and Morgan to bring him back to life. And Morgan? Why would she want to bring him back to life? She's much more virtuous than this version of you gives her credit for. But you used to see her value. Don't you remember any of this? You sent me and Morgan to bring her back to life. We, with several other women of her order, sailed a ship to Avalon with his body and the grail. You went to Avalon, then where's that? We're in Avalon. We're in Avalon. Wait, How did where you are get we? into the castle, Merlin? I don't know. I mean, the last battle with Morgan was just so fast, I didn't have time to... Morgan said not even you could find the place. No, it was Ether. He led us here. He the young man. saw it. I don't know how it works. You know, it that Special short. gift indeed for it to have worked past Morgan's defences. Still confused over here. <laughs> this castle, this small piece of land, this is the last bit of Camelot that remains. 
You and Morgan Le Fay created it. You both set it apart, called it Avalon, and then you sent me and Morgan to protect it. He said to protect it even from yourself. All right, fine. And what, what about Magdalena? Her family has always been here, but never been here. Oh, no, no. Speak plainly to me, all right? No more double talking riddle stuff. Their family has remained here to accomplish the task you set for them. Their family was a part of the old world, but a part of the new world as well. To cross completely into one or the other would have killed them, which is exactly what occurred with the Lady of Shalott. That actually happened? I thought that was just some poem. Tennyson was a friend of the family of Shalott. One of the few who could find the place. Poets have a special power in finding them. <coughs> Poets do, huh? Poets, novelists, artists, the whole free rap like movement found their way here. They were generally the ones to help continue the family line, you see. Tennyson was an honorable family man. But others felt more than free, you understand. Byron, that man was a rascal. Poor Henrietta. All right, fine, good. But what about this curse? Now, if you were trying to hide Arthur here, why would Morgan put a spell on the Shalott family to try to find him? I don't... Again, we were only following your instructions. It nearly broke my heart to put that curse upon them, Daniel. They were innocents who never should have been dragged into this. But you said it was part of the spell, part of the contradicting tapestry. <coughs> one force trying to protect, one force trying to liberate, right. one force trying to hide, one force trying to reveal, one force trying to resurrect Arthur's life, and one force trying to resurrect, retain his death. It was deep magic, one that not even I completely understood. All right, fine. And why did I tell you to do that, then? I had hoped you could answer that question for us. Now, what is it that you were not getting? I don't know any of you. Skama bar skamal. And in a minute, it don't matter. What are you doing? Skama bar! I will not be left in the dark anymore, Guinevere. I am willing to be Merlin's queen. I am willing to be his bishop or his knight. But I will not be his pawn. Skama bar! Stop it, you're killing him! I'm doing no such thing! What are you doing? Restoring his memories. Skama bar skamal. My name is Merlin. Oh, Morgan, you did it. You remember. Do you remember me, Merlin? You are Morgan Le Fay, half-sister of Arthur Pendragon. Good. Now, can you finally and tell us why? And you are my wife? most hated nemesis, Srahitha Rasta! Oh, my friend now! Garistan Palaya! Merlin, stop it! Srahitha Rasta! No! I am your ally! Ally? You took away my victory! You took away my memory, Morgan no. Le Fay! Stop! Oh, I agree. You've got a new body, but I would recognize the stench of your magic in any time, in any place. Rathani! Ah! Your magic is so strong! Oh, but you made me weaker when you took away my memories, didn't you? But now, oh, you foolish little witch, you've once more restored my no. full grandeur. No, I never took away your memory. My memory of the past is perfect. There never was any such battle. Oh, but it was not in your past. It's in your future. You know? All right, Casper. I'm not a ghost. Unless you always follow us around, I don't need a chaperone every minute of the day. Well, I'm not your chaperone. You can do whatever you want with whomever you want. My side of the fence is pretty free about that sort of thing. <laughs> oh, I am a non pervert. Oh, I'll look away. I promise. Not that you're going to get very far with Mr. Mormon. 
I like it, actually. He's sweet and romantic with that. Keeps his hands where they should be. From what I hear of the outside world, I think I prefer his sort of... Chivalry? It's not what I was going to say. My, oh my, is he getting to you? No! You're <laughs> blushing! I am not! Well, I'm used to stoking the fires in your kind, but I'll let you in on a secret. I've always preferred watching over the gentlemen rather than the rakes. Gentlemen, yes. Ether's a gentleman. You know, I applaud every feminist bone in your body, but a lot of the time that backfires, and men interpret that feminism as a reason to mistreat women in the name of equality. Sometimes a woman, even a free and equal one, yearns to be treated like a, a lady. <laughs> You're looking wistful. I never thought this would happen to me. I was beginning to think it was the end of the line for the Charlottes. I mean, I'd always heard about the poets and the knights coming to soothe our loneliness. I was losing hope. Well, perhaps the enemy has decided to have some mercy on you after all. Just wish you had a little left over for me. Are you supposed to confide in your assignments? I don't know. They usually can't talk back. It's kind of nice. <laughs> well, maybe there's still hope for you with him, I mean. Maybe you don't understand. I made a decision, and I knew the consequences. I knew who and what I was going up against. I knew this would be permanent. Well, maybe he didn't tell you. No, maybe don't you really... get who I am, Maggie? Don't you get what I am? I'm enjoying this budding friendship as much as you are, but one of these days, my orders may change, and I would not hesitate to bring you down. In the end, we're on different sides. In the end, I'm about to make you as miserable as I am. What does it matter? What if there is no heaven or hell to pay? What if you just did the right thing because it's right? I am right. We are right. It's you miserable weaklings who have never understood that the universe should be ordered. I thought you weren't supposed to leave me. I'm a devil. I don't always do what I'm told. Uh, who are you talking to, Maggie? Just the shadows. You all right? Ether, how great is your God's mercy? I believe it's infinite. Why? What's wrong? Is it great enough to cover me? Of course it is. <laughs> Maybe it's not. I've, I've been played by devils all my life. The ability to see them, hear them. Maybe it's because I'm like them. No, don't think like that. You don't understand it. It's like I'm a magnet for them. Their voices are always hissing inside my head. Their presence always ravenous out the edge of my skirt. Your, your gift is to see these beautiful visions of heaven. Why is mine to perpetually see evil? Is it a just punishment or a fair curse? Part of my fallen nature? Maggie, really, you're being too hard on yourself. No, Ethan, I'm being realistic. Look, I want this life with you. I really do. But if you were to spend your life with me, what would you be marrying? An angel. An angel or a demon? Maggie, why would a devil pay any attention to anyone unless they were meant to be an obstacle to their purposes? Don't you think they know your inherent worth? Don't you think that you've been targeted precisely because you have so much potential for good? Ether, sometimes I don't know who I really am or what it means to be human or woman or even what it means to be me. As much as I would love to be your knight in shining armor with those questions, I'm afraid you're going to have to find out the answers for yourself. Especially the woman part. I really have no clue there. <laughs> What's that for? Do you ever doubt yourself? Every day. Then don't. Next time you do, just know that I love you and that I believe in you. Maggie. Where are you going? I've got to find somebody, but thanks for trying to see me, Ether. It really helps. I love you, too. I know. You've already shown me. Sire? You all right? Saritha. Come. Come here. I stand in need of some company. What's wrong? Do you know what castle you are in? No, I just assumed it was some generic... This was my home. What? Where? It was more grand in its day. A vision. Time has taken its toll on it. Like many things. It's gonna be quite an adjustment for you, isn't it? It's a whole new world. It's not the new world that troubles me at the moment. But the old one. This woman, 
Magdalena. I've seen you with her the past few weeks. How you look at her. How intense you get in your joy. Well, every knight must have his lady, I suppose. One of you. I loved her much like you love your lady. My heart fell fast. Guinevere. Do you trust us, Maggie? Well, I know I love her, but trust? I don't know yet. Then are all relationships between men and women doomed to such an well, uneasy truce? If the legends have survived intact, sire, I believe there was another man involved in your scenario. Yes. Then I, I guess the question truly is, sire, whether any of us can truly trust one another. Can we even trust ourselves? Indeed. I'm not doing a very good job of cheering you up, am I? <laughs> no, you are not. <laughs> but honesty is the best elixir to the soul, Sarifa. Once you simply start telling me what I want to hear, that is when I should stop listening to you. That's why I could always trust Merlin. He would tell me the hard things. Arthur! Ah, speak of the devil and he will appear. Merlin, my friend! My dear Arthur, you are in grave <coughs> danger. Morgan and Guinevere have conspired against your life. We knew of Morgan, but Guinevere? I caught them trying to poison our food supply. We had a bit of a wizard's duel. Morgan is, well, dead. You killed her? Well, that incarnation of her, yes. I've put a charm about the castle that should prevent her getting another body for another couple of months, but and we're going to have to deal with her again. That woman has more skins than a snake. But how could you kill her? It was a necessary development. Remember, she did not spare you the last time we fought. If you're going into this knighting business, you will have to develop more of a stomach. That sword you wear is not just for show. Sure. I suppose that's right. My friend, you must be very certain of what you know. By your honor, by our friendship, you are certain that Guinevere is involved in this plot. She was the one holding the poison. She wasn't being coerced. No! She wasn't under a spell. It was her, all right. Willingly, knowingly, gleefully. She was plotting all of our destruction. You don't have to get like that, Daniel. Call me Merlin. I no longer go by that name. All right, then, Merlin. You're being insensitive. <laughs> insensitive? Here's a reality check for you. We are dealing with very powerful, volatile individuals. We don't have time to wince and mince with weeping choir boys. She was his wife. She was the one who brought down his kingdom. But that doesn't mean he can't still love her. It is all right, Saritha. As I said before, I need people who will be honest with me. Brutally honest. Arthur! I am too late. Too late to cover your sins, yes. Too late to reveal yours. What do you mean by that? As always, she is trying to keep herself unspotted by casting mud upon others. I hate to break it to you, but you've cried wolf too many times. Arthur, I know I broke your heart. I know I shattered your dreams. But you must believe me when I tell you this. Merlin is not to be trusted. I trust Merlin as much as I trust myself. He said the same thing about me once. Do not make the same mistake again. In a most bloodthirsty fashion, he killed Morgan. He already told us that. It was a just punishment for her many crimes against my life. Morgan unlocked his memories. Then even more reason to trust him. For the Merlin I knew remembers his friendship some in a more true fashion than you ever did. My lord, my love. I was not your love. And one does not try to poison one's lord. Poison? Is that what he told you? He told us that you and Morgan attempted to poison our food. Then I am even more baffled, Arthur, for I once trusted this man as you do. It was he who stationed us here to protect you. But why he has repaid our obedience with death and accusation, I do not know. I never gave any such order. Now I know you lie. Arthur, <coughs> they imprisoned you here. When Ether and I tried to save you, Morgan attacked us. This much you know to be true. Morgan was protecting you, Arthur. It was the charge given us. Merlin said to protect you even from himself. Little do we know we'd have to do that very thing. What's going on? Uh, this does not concern you, little woman. Excuse me? Do you see? Veilwiffer, the wizard. Oh, you're right. <clears throat> Why is that shade following you? The shades are back? Show it to me, Magdalena. <clears throat> I'll run it through. No, she was sent here to protect me. <clears throat> you're in league with these devils now? No, of course not, but I won't look a gift horse in the mouth. Oh, Maggie, get rid of the thing. There's nothing good that can come from it's such big, dabblings. It's isn't it? Very big. Legion, but there's something different <clears throat> about them. It's different. What do you mean different? They're... Are you really just talking to it? Feral. We're organized, but that thing is splitting apart at the seams. I've never seen one of us like that. There's definitely something wrong going on here. <clears throat> Maggie, get rid of it. They're, they're... Let Arthur kill it. Either don't lecture me about what you don't understand. Yeah. Maybe you were right, Arthur. 
Maybe our hearts are not to be trusted. This is important. Now, maybe we should just reconsider flying our kite Please, after all. Ether, I'll explain later. Evil spirits are not something you should just be hanging out with. Ether, I'm still on your side. Please trust me. Believe in me. I believe in God first. So did I, thanks to you. Maggie, we really have to take care of this. Ask the warlock where it's from. Daniel Frenzy wants to know Oh, I can see and hear the she-shade just as well as you can. Since so tell the little dickens to mind its own business, This isn't you? good, Maggie. That thing's not natural. I said, mind your own damn business. Pio in la sal Leave that thing alone, Ether. It is a devil's spawn. Oh. Look who's talking, dude. That's a lot stronger Maggie. than it should be, Maggie. Please, God, don't let me lose I'm it. I'm fine. I've got the scabbard. Oh, 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 woe is me! <laughs> what, so the whelp of a woman is still alive then? Barely! No thanks to you, villain! <laughs> thought you were a friend! Arthur, is this really the man you once thought was your friend? A man who attacks people unprovoked? Merlin? Unprovo I was not unprovoked. <laughs> Arthur, are you really going to trust pagans and soothsayers over me? Merlin, you are a pagan and a soothsayer. But a Christian one! <laughs> Arthur, look, have I ever done anything to betray you, to lose your trust? No, but neither had Guinevere and Lancelot. There's one person you can trust right now, Arthur. And who is that? The Lord of the Grail. Oh, that's debatable. Arthur, <laughs> trust in the revelation. Holy Lord, mine enemies have long plagued me with lying friendships. Please, guide my soul to the truth and to the doom of error. In the name of thy holy child, Jesus, amen. You. You are the one who most betrayed me when I most loved you. You are the one who turned my best night against me and brought me to ruin. Please. But where you hurt my heart, you never meant to hurt my body. I believe you love me still, as I love you. that I'm Merlin, but I certainly know who all of you are. And I tell you this, Guinevere, we've been in this situation before. Or should I say, we will be in it again. Your friends, helpless, your hair in my hands. But I'll let you in on a little secret. You know, in that future time, Morgan Le Fay saves you. She takes away my memory. She sends me back with a rare and powerful spell. Unfortunately for you, Morgan Le Fay is not here. So maybe you're not saved in that future day. Now, perhaps this time I can kill you. No! You win the cell by here! Stop it. Very clever. No! Swallowed and consumed each other, drawing upon each other's powers and elements. And through that, we amplify this warlock's powers. He is strong. With us, he is mighty. He is our city. We are his world. You are tearing at the seams. You're destroying yourselves. Our essence will survive. No, that was never the deal. We want to keep what we have. Time for change, Frenzy. 
Things will become desperate. The master authorized this. In the future, there is a schism. Schism? We no longer serve the son of the morning. He became old-fashioned. There is a new master. Then that's all I needed to hear. Following this ah! Stop! Traitor! You can't kill us! Now the prince like hell, doesn't it? Ah! Sword. Uh, stop her! You know what she will do to us! My enemy is her enemy, which makes her my friend. This is why I was sent here to protect her, so she can help us destroy you. As bad as the enemy and his servants are, an abomination like you is much worse. No, not your enemy. I am loyal to the master! You don't understand! You're in here with us! You lie! In your future, you become part of the colony. You're a part of us. Your fire is burning your own spirit flesh. No, no. It's a trick. I can imitate voices too. You must believe us. Prove it! There is not enough time! Crazy! No! Why? Maggie! I'm a devil! Here we know some fire! Maggie! Stila Carta! today here, Guinevere. I will not forget what you did to me. My love, please help. Maggie. Is she? Dead. Arthur. Alive. Barely. You better oh. regret who survived Please tell me, please tell me it was not me, it was not me! They were controlling you? Give me one reason we should trust you. Because I can undo what the colony just did, I still have the- No! Gun. Either this is the only way that we can save her! Save her? Like you saved me? To wander away from my god? To doom me as an exile until the end of the world? No. No, you will not save her. She's saved now. Ethan, think about what If she... anyone tries to take the grail from me, I will kill them on the spot. Ethan. I swear I will. Look, you saw her in the vision. She's with us in the end. I also saw parts of this battle. I saw her dead. And now you have the chance to merge the two visions, lad. Oh, that's... Guinevere. As for you, Saritha, it is your duty to protect Magdalena. Not to condemn her to death. I am protecting her. I'm safeguarding her salvation. Is this about her or is this about you? It isn't right. I didn't want it. God foretold it. I will not accept that God didn't want me in his arms as anxiously as I did. This is not about God's love for you. Is it our place to say who lives? Is it our place to say who dies? Daniel, you have no part in this conversation. You've already done enough damage. Saritha. Was it not our Lord himself who bestowed immortality on St. John until he should come again? And was it not St. Peter who asked to return to the Lord's arms as soon as possible? They were 